everyone, my name is Sergeant Solge, and this is a follow-up video for Loot Crate Episode 2, The Fantasy Crate. Uh, we didn't get the chance to show you the shirts, and I want to talk about some of the things that were in the crate, but I didn't want to do it in a comment, and I need another video for Sunday, and this is it. So, Loot Crate Episode 2, Part 2. First of all, the shirt. Didn't get to show it to you, but that's it. Shabam. Really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, if you can't tell, I'm in my kitchen, and we're going to pan around real quick, and we're going to look at the, the magnets. So here are the magnets. Excuse all the crap on my fridge. Um, you got four of the main houses, the Stark House, the Targaryen, I can never say that right, uh, the Lannister House, and the Baratheon House. And then you also have like the Game of Thrones main title one. Um, one thing that I noticed with these in taking them out... Uh, it's very easy to peel these corners back. I don't know if you can see it. Very, very easy to peel those corners back. And, and that's taking it out of the magnet mold that they're in. So these were all printed on one, one flat rectangle that, was, that had a magnet backing. And then they were cut. Probably machine cut. And it doesn't go all the way through. So when you're removing them, you need to take very special care to make sure you don't ruin the corners of your magnets. Um, I pretty much, I tried my best. Obviously, I ruined this one because I was peeling it up so you can see. But as you can see, if you're very careful, um, when, when you have them in the mold, it goes all the way around. Just kind of bend it back and forth, and you'll see that it snaps on the back. And that's the easiest way to get it, is you just keep bending it along the seams of each individual magnet, and you'll get it out. Um, but let's, uh, let's go upstairs. Oh, hold on. We're washed out. Let's go upstairs and we'll take a good look at the rest of the stuff. So, be right back. Okay, the next bit, we have the nine and three quarters train platform Harry Potter thingamabobber. Um, very, very flimsy rubber. Ooh, did I just break it? No. Okay. Um, it's actually like a, a baggage, a baggage tag, so you could write... On the back, you know, I would put Astro's name and, and his address and all that stuff. And you can attach this to your baggage. He doesn't need baggage, so I just threw it up on his wall for now. And I'll let him decide what he wants to do with it later. Over here next to it, he hasn't decided what he wants to do with last month's spy ID card yet. So I just threw it up there and pretty much let him decide. And then here is the actual box itself once it's turned around, or turned inside out. Um, very, very cool. It's got, you know, a little map and sword, little penny embellishments and stuff like that. Really, really cool shield on the bottom, which I think I'm going to leave it like this. Oops. Leave it like that on display, because uh, I think that's really cool. But, yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside when you receive it. So that that's the, I think it was a comic or something that came with it. I'll leave that inside there and I'll let him decide what he wants to do with it. But uh, closing this one-handed is a pain. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move into my office and show you the last couple things. Bam. Okay, as for the end of this video here, I've got, oh, I think two more things to show. Astro has the, the pin that was showed in the original Episode 2 Loot Crate video. You got a pretty good idea of what that looks like. It's just a small pin. Uh, he ended up keeping that. And it didn't come to my house. Um, so I'm going to show the last two pieces, which is the playing card deck for Princess Bride. Uh, I'm keeping this. This is mine. I love that movie. I love Carrie Yules. He's one of my favorites. Of course, Andre the Giant. Um, I, I thought he was absolutely great in that movie. And then this is the, the House Stark USB flash drive. It doesn't say anywhere on here or in the box how fast it is. Um, or not a fast, like the, the storage capacity of it, I'm going to imagine it's at least two or four. It's not going to be very big because a, a four gig flash drive is what, like five bucks? So I, I can't imagine it would be anything smaller than four. Uh, if it was eight, that would be, that would be amazing because, oh, hold on, got to adjust my share. Eight is typically like, you know, the average size that you want for pretty much everything. Um, it sits right like that, pull it apart. Shabam. Uh, unlike most flash drives, it doesn't have a way to connect to any kind of lanyard or anything. So this is how it sits. You know, if you want to 
you want to hide any kind of graphic video or pictures on a flash drive you know this wouldn't be a bad way to do it you know this way you can uh, you know kind of set it on a little shelf and be like oh yeah that's just a little plastic mold of a the house Stark head you know don't tell people it's a flash drive or anything shoot ignore everything I just said uh, this is not a flash drive this is a little plastic mold of the house Stark um, direwolf head not a flash drive anyway uh, that's gonna do it for this video I'm gonna try to get it edited tonight if I flip this around you can see that I'm still in the process of doing my computer my my graphic card drivers aren't installed yet so it's still got this lip around the outside once it is installed that should go away um, and my my Whoa! Tripod going crazy. My uh, my foods and snacks and stuff, because this is going to take a while. Um, I ended up doing a, a reset on my whole hard drive and, and whatnot and reinstall the operating system in the hopes that that'll fix it. Um, it was telling me that some files were missing, and I don't know why. I don't know why they'd be missing. I didn't really lose too much. I lost some local game files. Um, Dungeon Nightmares... You know, uh, the Markiplier games that I was playing, I beat the first two, um, and I started the third one, which I wasn't able to finish, and I probably lost the save files for that. I'm going to have to restart the third one. But the first two, if I wanted to get 100% completion, I was going to restart them anyway. You know? So, anyway, uh, I've been going for about three and a half minutes now with the other, other two short little videos. This is probably like a seven or eight minute video in total. So, I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm sorry this isn't all that much more entertaining to watch, but until I can get everything running tonight and hopefully editing within, where's my phone? Let's see, it's 11.15, if I can get everything reinstalled and running again by midnight, 1 o'clock, I might be able to get this put out for an update tomorrow, and then I might even get another game put in. So anyway... My name is Sergeant Souls, and with me is the Princess Bride and House Stark. And all of us will see you in the next video. See ya.